What's going on, y'all? It's your boy SNQ, and you're now tuned in with 20 Questions with Weez. Okay. That was a good take. You could have added your character. Man, fuck that, man. <laughs> man, I was, hey, man, let me do it again. You got me fucked up. Right. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? I'm SNQ, and you're now tuned in with 20 Questions with Weez. <laughs> So what's going on, man? What's good, fool? How you doing, man? I'm good. Man. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good, man. You out here with your uh, yeah, look. Jo- what, what's his name on your John Singleton? Was, nah, is that his name? John good? Singleton. <laughs> <laughs> he got the camera <laughs> straight up, straight up. Boy, man. So, how you been, man? I've been cool, man. Just really trying to, uh, just really trying to get through COVID. You know, all this other stuff, man. Just trying to maintain. Um, but I mean, well, man, I can't really complain. Everything going good for me. How about you? Okay, man, I'm I'm, I'm good. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just staying working. You yeah, know what I mean? trying to put a positive message, spin light on people's lives. Type you know shit. what I mean? Give yeah. them something to look forward to. Type shit. Type shit. Yeah, this shit dope, man. I'm glad yeah. you're doing this. This is yeah. This is definitely, especially like with it being about you know the people that you you know oh, talking yeah. to. So yeah, yeah, this is dope, man. Oh, I'm yeah, glad definitely. you're doing this for sure. It's the right person doing it for sure for you. Man, hey, man, I hope so, man. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna see. I hope so, for real, man. <laughs> we're gonna see. You know, yeah. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of things going on, you know what I mean? Everybody doing their own, everybody got their own lane. So I'm just trying to provide a new lane. For, Type shit, yeah. yeah. People to come up with. Right. Um. So to you, man, uh, SNQ, what does what is, what is SNQ stand for? Uh, It's really just a, like a shortened down version of uh, Sonic, which is S O N I I Q. And the way I came up with that was really, well, I used to watch Sonic the Hedgehog okay, when I was yeah. a kid. You know? I did too. I did yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, you yeah. know. Yeah. 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 You know. But, um, you know, Sonic is, you know, another for sound, you know, so right. the S-O-N-I-C. Okay. Uh, right. So I just did a play off words and then, you yeah. know, so that's just really like a shortened down version of it. So. Okay. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's really how I came up. Really ain't no elaborate thing to it for real. Yeah, but that's hard though. I mean, hey, don't get me wrong, it is hard. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard. It's yeah, hard. Definitely. When I first heard it, I'm like, Sonic, okay, you talking about Sonic the Hedgehog. And then, yeah. then when you wrap it all into yeah. what you do, which we gonna get here, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, okay, it makes sense. Yeah. Um. So, uh, I know you for a while. Yeah, so it's probably like kids. kids yeah, kids. like kids, like, you know, middle school. Yeah, you know maybe even, then you were like the Haley. Yeah. Yeah, so like Haley, yeah, yeah. we're going to sing like Haley. Yeah, you know I mean, man. Um, yeah, it's a fun time. Yeah, man. Fun I was going to say, you was talking about Fruity Loops and all that stuff then. Uh, yeah. Live, exactly. How'd you get it? What, what was it like? Did you crack yeah. it or whatever off like? No, man. I um, Actually, yeah, I did. I ain't going to lie. I was going to say, I feel like you cracked yeah. it off like Livewire or something like that. Yeah, I feel yeah. like that's how we oh, got yeah. all that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah shout out Livewire. Yeah. Yeah, live <laughs> Straight Cause, up. Because I sure got in trouble in uh, Miss Wyndham class. For uh, burning CDs and uh, selling uh, mixtapes, she called <laughs> me. Man, look, that boy, that boy was hustling. That boy, that boy uh, was boy, hustling. Yeah, you boy. always had the music thing going. For, man, for real, when, even when we was kids, I wasn't even thinking about it then. Boy, yeah, it was, it was crazy. Um, so yeah, man. So now, I mean, the roles have been reversed, though. You know what I mean? You, you, you in the music? Yeah, yeah. And I remember yeah. you, uh, you coming to me like oh, easy. I'm trying to engineer. Yeah, I'm finna yeah, yeah. go to school. Yeah, yeah. Full cell. Yeah, yeah. full cell. Shout yeah. out to full cell. Shout out to full yeah. cell. You know what I mean? Um, how was that experience for you? Um, I don't know, man. Like when I first got it, like the, I got into music doing, um, or excuse me, the way I got into it was I hooked up with um, three, three AM, three AM, who okay. was at the time going by uh, King D, the problem. Right, right, right. Okay. And I had wanted to, I had came back from the military and everything like that. And I was living in Indianapolis and I ended up coming back. But um, then, you know, he was doing my like engineering and stuff like that. So I was paying him. He was doing like $25 an hour or something like that. So I was paying oh, okay. him. Yeah. And, um, that's love. Yeah. Yeah. That's it was, yeah. That's when they, I, I think that's what it was at the time. It was like $25 an hour. And then I was, uh, you know, hooking up with him. He was doing it. I used to like do two, three hours at a time. And then. Um, I was watching him do like the, you know, the engineering stuff and I'm like, damn, that shit dope. And you know, I, don't get me wrong, I, I, I always support anyone. At the time I was supporting him, you know, I was right. tip him and everything, but right. it got to a point to where it's like, shit, I want to do my own stuff. So then that's when I just kind of decided to go to Full Sail and, you know, they had like this two hour, or two year accelerated bachelor program or whatever the case was. So I joined that and did it and then 
School got a little expensive, so I dropped out that month. Man, <laughs> hey, hey, boy, hey, let them know. Look, school is expensive. No, for real, yeah, it school, got expensive. School is expensive, man. It's a prestigious, man, like, wow. private school for that, so, I yeah, mean, I get yeah, it, exactly. you know? Yeah, so, while you were in school, did they, they give you equipment, or did you have to buy your own equipment, or... The, not like that. Yeah, the equipment is like wrapped into the uh, the tuition price. So oh, like okay. they, but I was getting like military benefits and stuff from it too. So oh, okay. Yeah, because they was they had like a VA and everything there. So okay, so you was in the military. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah I twenty twenty two or no twenty twenty would have been my eighth year. Mm. Yeah, so I'm out. That's what's up. Out out. Oh, okay. Yeah, bro. Okay. It was, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know, it was a good part of my life, right, but that's right. done now. Yeah, right, for sure. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I went there for a little bit, and then I just, I ended up keeping the equipment, because like I said, it just got too expensive, for real. Right. So, so how did, how did Sonic become an artist? How did you become an artist? Have you always wanted to do music, or? Well, I was about to say, I, man, I mean, not a lot of people know. I used to dance. Like, I used to be able to, like, dance and stuff. You know, oh. that's around the time where, like, the Jabberwockies and there, America's Best Dance Crew. Remember that, like, yeah. little period? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, fun yeah. fact, I used to not be able to clap on beat. Right? Really? I used to not be able to be on beat on time whenever. My mom, like, literally stood me in a room, you know, on one of her nights where she was drinking and stuff, and she loved music, it made me stand and clap on beat. Like you know, and then you ain't black no more. Your black card is <laughs> straight up. Your black card is revoked. Yeah, no, I look, and then I started doing that. So I started dancing and stuff, but I was always good at like poetry and stuff like that. And then I was just like, man, I'm gonna just start, you know, making music. So I started as an artist, right? And then I started doing engineering, and then like I kind of started to like the other stuff more than the artist stuff. Okay, you know, so okay. then, but so I like doing behind music. the scenes. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Right. So. In that venture in that time period, because I know I was I was still in school at the time when you was um, in the army and whatnot. But you used to come home and whatnot, chill. Yeah. You used to kick it, but I, and then you used to see me at the studio. Yeah, at these tracks. Yeah, when you, yeah. And um, uh, he's like, "Weezy, man, I'm trying to get in the studio over there." Yeah. And at that time, at that time, I had um, I got you in there. Yeah. Got you in there a little bit. Yeah. But then you couldn't really do it. Yeah, yeah. I had uh, during that time. I it, I was like married and all type of stuff, you know. So yeah. it was just too much happening with my life to where I really couldn't uphold it. And really at the time, man, I'm gonna be real. I wasn't even in a position mentally to even uphold something like that. Yeah. Like I, okay. I thought I did, but I didn't. And at that time, I was really like kind of like doing it. I was charging and doing it, but not really right. doing it for real, you know. Okay. So like it really just yeah, you was I was really self out yeah. yeah type of shit yeah okay. on the fence okay. and stuff like that you know so that's more so what it was honestly and then I had actually seen Brian and talked to him about that too later on so oh okay yeah. cool yeah yeah because sure. now I mean so further further down you um you got back into music then you linked up with me and Critical I am yeah. You to my uh, LF? LF? Yeah. Yeah, LF. yeah, 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 yeah. And you formed a partnership inside of LF. Yeah, yeah. How was how was that experience for you? Um. Overall, it was good because overall, um, yeah. yeah, overall it was good. It was some bumps and bruises, and you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, it was bumps and bruises, you know. And I'm gonna get into that. It was it, overall it was good because I got into like that was my first time getting into um, one. When the pandemic hit, I had to um, figure out a way because everybody couldn't work, right. you know. So I had to figure out a way, and then you know, Kelsey, uh, OG, Kill, shout out OG Killer Kells, shout out. Um, she was pregnant, you know, with, my, with our son. So it was kind of one of those things where it's like, okay, you know. And I wasn't really too privy. It's crazy. I wasn't too privy to like unemployment and stuff like that, you know. Right. So right. in my mind, that was the only thing I could do, you know, to okay. make the money. So I was just like, you know, I gotta, you know, figure it out, you know. So I got into it and that's where I started to get involved with different people around like the city, you know, that I needed to be involved with to kind of like spread awareness that I'm doing music and, you know, I'm taking clients and so on and so forth. And and then really just really picking the brains of different people um, that was inside of like the studio, whether it be like Crit or whether it be like you or JR, whether it be like Jeff or excuse me, Esco um, or, you know, so it was it was overall good for me. It was really needed, honestly. Okay, so. I know for me, like being at the studio and watching you work, I thought I worked, but you work. 
<laughs> you work. Oh yeah, right. I get down. Right. <laughs> but it was it was so much going on. It was so many artists in there at one time. Yeah. And everything, you know what I mean? Me, I I can't work like that. Yeah. I, I can, but I can't. In the, the same chaos. time. Yeah. yeah, in the chaos, cause you know what I mean, when when you having sessions, you gotta watch for around. I mean, make sure nothing gets stolen or, you know what I mean, damaged or misplaced or yeah. none of that. You know what I mean? You don't, yeah. you don't want nothing to fall back on you. How, yeah. did you, how did you handle all that? Because I used to come in at like 11, you have a session at night, you know what I mean? And it'd be like five, seven people in that mug. Yeah. Y'all be going crazy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you just got to give it to God at that point. No, I'm just you know like, hey, <laughs> no. Look, man. The people that I was doing <laughs> sessions with, man, honestly, um, a lot of them I really didn't. A lot of the people I was doing sessions with, they weren't all the way unfamiliar with okay. me. Like we, it wasn't like just total, total strangers, you know. And even right. if I was in the studio with someone that I probably didn't know all too well, and it might have been a lot of them, right? You know, one, you know, I was armed still, you know, right? Yeah, but yeah. outside of that, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know. But outside of that, it was just kind of one of those things to where like I think I had developed a good rapport with most of the people that I was recording, right, you know. Right, right. So. Um, I mean, yeah, someone could always do something, but I, I just I just didn't feel it. You can usually feel when something's gonna go left, you yeah, know. Yeah, now yeah. as far as like the people like being in there like smoking and stuff like that, that was chaotic and that got a little out of hand. But man, man, uh, yeah. Man, look, <laughs> yeah, look, the first day they had stopped us. Yeah. They stopped us. Yeah. They was blowing that so, motherfucker down. Man, they was blowing that down. They was blowing it down. They could. Man, <laughs> but yeah, so had a, we had to nip the butt in that uh, real fast, but um, outside of that, man, it, it was just, I really don't like working in, like, a lot of people, I started to find out about myself, I really don't mm. like working a lot around a lot of people. I more so okay. like it in the sense of, like, like a recording. Session. Like, yeah, but closed sessions, but recording. When it comes to, like, me mixing and stuff like that, I don't really like doing it with people. I will, yeah. but I don't like it because I get, people get to talking to me, and then I used to, at that time, I was, right. like, talking with them, and I get distracted, and it's right. type of shit. Yeah, yeah. liquor coming The liquor in, and stuff, man. I don't be yeah. drinking like that anymore, so. That's good, that's yeah, good, so. okay, that's good. So, um, let's elaborate, uh, your son. Mm. So your son, you got a son. I got two. Oh, two. Yeah, okay. I got okay. two. I got August and Aries. Okay, yeah. August and Aries, dang. Yeah. August, that's a dope name. Dope yeah, man. Name. Yeah. Aries, dope name. I remember you, um, I remember us in the studio, we always talking about the nicknames and the, and everything. You know what I mean? It <laughs> yeah, was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy straight time. up. Yeah, crazy time. Um, crazy. Just had um, to be in there. So cool. So your second child. Yep, yeah, second child. Yeah. You just you just had him? In November. Yep, yeah, November 17th. Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Brand new. Yeah, mm -hmm. brand new. Brand spanking new. That's what it do. Um, so I I see you I see you all the time on Facebook. You know what I mean? You're You'll like post mm. and you won't post. You know, take a break. You know what I mean? Like like through the career of your music success, you've been on and off. You know what I mean? Is 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 it a reason for that, Dean? Uh I think well as far as like the artist thing goes, um, on and off. Well, I guess let me say this. Um uh, when I started to like learn uh, at like as we went through like the the year into 2021 and then more so into this year now um as it pertains to like facebook and then posting and instagram and stuff like that um mm -hmm. i mean i'll post and i'll promote um but i what i started to find was i was getting too wrapped up in in that okay. you know um and i think just as a person excluding like music mm -hmm. and excluding anything else you just have to have a, a balance of being able to sit on Facebook and like do what you're gonna do as far as the posting and go and so on and right. so forth. But it's important kind of just to be able to disconnect from it. I wasn't on and off in the sense of being involved in the music thing. Um, right. Cause the, even if I'm not like posting about like deals or sessions or anything like that, I'm still doing music with like Breed, r and okay. um, okay. Count Time Music, uh, or the people around me, you know, that I actively do music with still, I'm just more in the back. Okay. Like I always okay. wanted. I never really want to be in the be face. In yeah. So yeah. I, I more so want to be in the back. Cause at, at the end of the day, I'd rather be the engineer and the, the I'm moguling. You know, that's okay. what I'm uh, into. You know, like okay. the, everything else. So. Okay. Cool. Speaking of that, speaking of that mogul, you know what I mean? You um, you entrepreneur. Yeah. 
Entrepreneur. Yeah, you so, doing yeah. a little bit of entrepreneuring right now too. Okay. okay. So last, I know last time we talked, you know what I mean. You said I'm done with the music right now. And I'm about to go get a job, but you don't have a regular job. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. Can you elaborate, elaborate on that? Yeah, you know I can. I mean? Cause, cause you know, a lot of people don't know. Like in, in the music game, it's it's hard to keep money. You know what I mean? Like to get it consistent. If you ain't in one of the big cities, or you ain't doing online mixing and mastering services, or you know what I mean, you gotta get it any way you can. Yeah. And what what made you stop? Like. Well, really, I took a break. I took wasn't. Break. Yeah, I was. I, I was more so doing mm -hmm. a vacation. It's like a vacation, and I went to work. But you don't take <laughs> breaks around. Yeah, here, yeah, coach. yeah. Vacation. No. <laughs> but no, it really is a. Um, I like to think in strategy, you know, as far as like the way, because at the end of the day, like I feel like people around here, um, I don't want to say locally, but in my immediate area, I feel like we uh, have a habit of picking things up and putting it down, especially as it pertains to music. And um, with the sonic sound thing and what I'm doing, what I'm doing it to the day I die. Okay. So being that said, anything that I do, that's a, uh, anything that I'm doing is revolving around music. Music is the is the epicenter of what I'm doing. Everything out around it is kind of like helping fund it or helping bring attention to it. Okay. And um, you'll hear like rappers or whoever they they'll talk about how like some of the rappers are rich or some of these people are rich and some of these people most of these people are like faking it. Yeah. The way I see it is um, we got to be able to have, we got to be popping for real in real life. And the job that I do right now is in logistics. I work in okay. supply chain and it's a commission job. Mm, okay. um, and, you know, that as, not too many people can do that. We, we, right. yeah, I partner with a company building a business. So right now I work with two brokers and uh, they're million dollar brokers. So they bring in, I help bring in a million dollars in revenue to this million well, dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I'll help bring in a million dollars uh, in revenue to this company. The company's TQL, Total Quality Logistics. Okay. And inside of these, uh, in this company is brokers that build businesses with other corporate buildings or companies and they solicit services and we, you know, generate revenue like that. All right. So, cool. you know, and I'm part of like that company and I just, you know, I network inside of there because there's a lot of capital in there, you know. And so long as you're a person that hustle, it's, it, it, and the way I built my music business came from that company. Oh, okay. You know, okay. so that's how so I that's learned how the things you, that I know. Things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so okay. it's just more so a way for me to stay sharp on my business skills because it's not like, it's not coddling and everything like that. It's like rough, tough. Like if I don't like what you're saying on the phone, I'm hanging up on you. Oh, dang. Like, it's like you know, that? Yeah, like if we not agree, I didn't got in arguments with people over the phone, all type of stuff. You know, it's not like a normal, it's not like a call center inbound frontier job or a cable oh. company job, you know, so. Okay. Yeah, it's mm. a dope job. It's a dope gig. Yeah, I'll be seeing on uh, Snapchat. Y'all be y'all be playing a lot of games. It look like I work for Google. Yeah, no, yeah no, for real. <laughs> really, straight it up. It look like y'all work for yeah, Google. Straight, hey, nah, it right, do. Right, yeah, for real. Uh. yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. I work with this. I work with this guy named Josh. He's my first million dollar. Like uh, he's a broker. He's a million dollar broker. His name's Josh yeah. Simon, and then I work with another uh. guy. His name's Stephen Rose. Oh, so yeah. they got the money. They got the money. You know, they, they money. The more money that they bring in, and the more you know freight that they bring in, you know, is the more money it puts in my pocket. You oh, know, okay. so we got a mutual interest. Oh, you know, so boys say you got a hundred bands ready for anybody. Man, I ain't got a hundred bands. I got a little paper though. Mm -hmm. I got a little paper though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel you. Okay, straight up, <laughs> straight up. Um, so what? Um, what keeps you going, man? Like. As far as like just with everything, what? Yeah, with everything because I know, like, from seeing you, from seeing you, from a couple of years ago, and with the drinking and the smoking and the late nights and everything, you know what I mean? How did that? How did that help you shape who you are right, right now? Well, the drinking and smoking really didn't help. No, no. well, I I say my sons, man, my sons, uh, for sure, are the reason why. Because one, um, during the duration of that time, you know, I experienced a lot of things, you know, good and bad, you know, right. that right. Um, attributed to, you know, the char the person that you see now, you know. Okay. Um. So as far as like what makes me keep going, I mean, th those two, those two are my reasons. And and then not only that, man, I've always been a person that wanted to like help. Okay. Uh, wanted to like you know assist 
things because one if you're a person that has value and that, that you're always get, like helping and can provide value to something yeah you're well, always gonna be around you're always gonna be around you'll always have a job you'll always have demand you'll always have wealth okay so yeah. um that's some gems for y'all right? that's some gems that's some game some take it some game, <laughs> take it free game straight free. up straight up yeah um so man let me ask you a question what's up do you know what the secret of life is do I know what the secret of life is? Yeah. I'm me. No, I'm just playing. No, uh, no, no, no for real. Are you saying like how to like how to be like successful or yeah. or just anything? I well, I say this. No, no, not even successful. From all the people you didn't encounter, from all the people you encountered or came across, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the situations you didn't been put in. I mean, because you didn't been put in some situations, you know what I mean, with some blood situations. You know what I mean? You got a placement with Gucci, man. You know what I mean? You don't know about that. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know I don't know. Be nice. I, mean? I don't know if it went through or not. I know, I know I had the opportunity yeah, had it for I sure. It was, on my, it was on my computer, for real. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, yeah so, like, I know what the secret of life is. But I don't know this through a TV show. And I found out what it was because it's really true. Like, see, like, the secret of life is people. People change people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Um, everything you do, everybody you get around, they, they serve a purpose in your life. Whether it's now or later or, you know what I mean, in the past, you know what I'm saying? Everybody you've encountered, they they help shape you right to who you are yeah they help shape you have you do you think that you've made yourself like you like with people like is it because of the people that you've been around has it made you like this or oh no yeah just yeah start, like i think you know i think I, I, gotta, yeah. I gotta i gotta get up off my my tail and go get it you yeah, I mean? yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know. So, yeah, so I'll say, this might be a long answer, so forgive me. But no, you good. Um, the first thing I'll probably say is, one, the people that you're around, your immediate friend group is going to determine how well you perform at whatever you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. You know, if you are the person, if you're around a bunch of people, who, it's almost like you're playing ball, you know, and you're like the person, like you you practicing with them and stuff. You're trying to get on like the starting team or whatever the case right, is, right. and everyone around you is just hoopers. They hooping, you know? Right. Eventually, you know, you might be not as good as them starting off, but if you hooping with them, practicing with them, playing with them, eventually your skill level grows. Yeah, that's true. You know, like if you what they say, you, you hang around nine million uh, millionaires, you'll be the tenth. Right. You know, and it, so basically, it, it all comes off of like who you're around. You know, you can't grow if you're not around people who have grown past where you are right there. Right. You know, and like in life or in your profession or whatever the case is. You know, so. Okay. I mean, that's one. And then two, honestly, um, you got to kind of like take the time to figure out what you are doing. And yeah. when I say you, I mean like the person, whether whoever, you have to sit down and think about what you're trying to do. Right. Because it's a lot of noise in the world. It's a lot of noise. You're yeah. on the, the, the yeah. phone is, is like your gateway to the world right now. You take on so much energy. You take on so many things. You see so much information at one time and a click of a button, snap right. of the finger, you know, so. It's gone. And, and, you, know, you know, so you gotta kinda like take the time to figure out what you, because you have to figure out what that thing is that's gonna get you out of bed without having the alarm clock. You gotta figure out what's gonna make you stay past the time is go, uh, past the time of going home. You gotta figure out what's gonna make you stay up. Uh, you gotta figure out what's gonna make you wanna keep going. You know, mm -hmm. for me it's music. For me it's like the business, the hustling. For you it's just hustling the music, X, Y, and Z. And you know, and it might not come right away and it might not be the thing that you think you're doing right now. Right, right, right. You know? But I understand that. Someone told me something, um, my, my GSM, the first time I worked at uh, TQL, he was saying to me, um, the money comes as a byproduct of you doing what you love to do. Mm. You know? Hold up. Say that. Say the, money comes, the money comes as a, by, a byproduct of you doing what you love to do. And what he was essentially saying was, mm. when you love something so much, you're going to do it regardless. And you're going to just naturally get good at it because you're doing it so much. And because you're doing it so much and you're getting good at it, you're going to bring in the money that you're trying to 
bring in. So what we do, what we typically do as people, and you see it on Facebook, people are like sixteen dollars an hour, right? The five X, Y, and Z. This is job X, Y, and Z, and they chasing a dollar. Right, right, right. You're chasing a dollar. It's chasing almost dollar. like yeah, it's almost like you chasing something that look good, someone that look good, and you don't really mm. take the time to know if you like it or not. Right, right, right. Okay. You know, Ooh, that's a that's a good analogy. For real, because I mean, it's honestly that's how we go through life. We're as a as a person, people, we're relationship based people. You know, so we right. we have to have that. So being that said, you know, we kind of operate in our mind like that. You and you gotta if you don't like what you're doing, you're gonna quit it. If you don't mm. like who you're with, you're gonna cheat. If you don't like or if you don't like the situation, mm. you might you know. So put yourself in a position to stay long enough. Okay. And you're only gonna do that okay. if you like it. Mm. Dang, that was a good answer. For real. Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was a good answer. Hey man, I ain't got it all, but I got a little something. Hey, I feel you on that. I feel you. <laughs> Straight man. up. Um. So yeah, man. Hey, well, I'm, I'm over here drinking this water, man. It's gonna look fire. I know I'm over here, bro. I've been fire. Kind of right. hard man. I'm telling you. Um. So yeah, man. Um. Leaving off, man. Uh, where can they? Where can they find you, bro? Like you on social media? Oh. Right, before we get that, before we get to that, let's talk about marketing. Let's talk about marketing. Oh my God. Yeah, let's talk about marketing. Because um, Mr. Guru over here. I'm not a guru. The boy said he was a guru. I'm not a guru. You know what I mean? I'm not. At marketing. I'm not. You know what I mean? Uh, you still do marketing? I mean, like, <laughs> you do marketing services or? I, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, no. I just yeah, kind of, no. yeah, no. I yeah, give. No. Excuse me, I give my uh, opinion on it, um, okay. but I mean, I can give a little game, I guess. Is that what you're asking me for? No, no. I just oh, I was about to say, did. I didn't want to know you still did. I was about to say, you want to give a little game? Is that no, what you want? No. No, but I, I do want to know uh, about uh, Forex. Forex? Yeah, Forex. Forex. What you probably, what you want to know about huh? Forex? Is it real? You getting money? What you really want to know about is... Financial literacy, but yeah, I guess uh, so. Uh, so uh, forex, I have made money in forex. Forex is an actual thing. Forex is a the foreign exchange market. Exactly. It's one of the uh, it's one of the biggest markets in the uh, the country as far yeah. as like markets mm -hmm. is concerned. And uh, mm -hmm. I think the the what is it? What is that company called? A little the, uh, IML. IML. Yeah. So when you say forex, <laughs> that's what they think of I know, IML, and it's not think. that. Yeah, that is just a, that. That's, but yeah, you want to know what's that. funny? I used to do forex though, so yeah. I know it's real. Yeah, yeah, it's real. But you sure. want to know what's funny about IML? Sure. The the same thing that they're doing is kind of similar to what insurance companies do. Mm. It's like ML, it's uh, MLM. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. So like I go get, I get, I join and then I go find people to join under me and then right. once they join under me, I have a team. Right, right. You get what and I'm saying? Then, and then you just eating up your team. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Point. So okay, yeah, okay. But forex is an actual real thing, and I encourage everyone. Uh, it's not for everyone, yeah, but I encourage people. I encourage people to do their due di uh, due diligence on it. But because I remember I was in the studio, and I was on my phone. And Y'all like, man. Yeah, I laughed at you. I was like, what the? and that was my bad. Like, you know, I was ignorant. Coach, I was ignorant. I was getting money. You know, I was. I was ignorant. I was ignorant. <laughs> but honestly, though, it's because of. Financial, we don't understand, but you can't understand something if you was the commodity being traded in something. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So sure. as black people, you know, we we were like, you know, slaves and X, Y, and Z. So we were think we were assets to like another group of people. So you can't know a game is being played if you're one of the pawns in the game being mm. used. You know, so mm -hmm. and it's only been it's been it's just became available not too long ago not to long the per uh, to that you know the public mm -hmm. for retail trading, which is what you and I would do. Yep. So, yep, that was a fun time. Cause y'all used to just laugh. I still, I still do that. I, I, boy, yeah. yeah, I do too, but I slow down. I, I do, slow. I do, I do the stocks, the crypto, and the forex. Oh, okay, so you do crypto, crypto, forex. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, so, yeah. Hey, hey, crypto, crypto going crazy, bro. Crypto, I ain't on front. Crypto going crazy. Crypto, yeah. Whoever I <laughs> encourage, I have to say this on camera. I encourage y'all, <laughs> yeah, to crypto. honestly pay attention to what's happening in your life because they have Bitcoin machines. ATM machines in the yeah. gas stations, bro. Oh yeah, definitely. It's like thirty-three thousand, uh, like eight uh, Bitcoin ATMs, like in I think they said in like Spain or like in the world. Yeah, Being bro, that said, so this it's a real it's thing. Like, yeah, oh, it's yeah, a real bro, thing. I know it's a real thing. But look, my friend, I got a friend named Xavier Miller. 
Real cool. He's my guy. Uh, he actually got a podcast, a Millionaire Mindset podcast. That's hard. Um, and he uh, he got a book. You know what I mean? How he started. You know what I mean? And how he now he's so successful. Yeah. You know what I mean? This 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 is my childhood friend. Yeah. From Chicago. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm like, oh shoot, I got to kill him again. He popping. And he going crazy. He, I swear. Oh, yeah, you, I bet. Like, bro, he be he be with Van Man Kevo and everything. You that's know hard. What I mean? Yeah, that's hard. Like, bro. And he he going crazy. He ain't finessing nothing like that. Yeah. He cryptocurrency, real estate. Yeah. You know what I mean? All that. Yeah. He get into the bag. Yeah. And I salute him for that. You yeah. know what I mean? Because another person got know their background and where he came from. Where he came from. You know what I mean? It was hard, rough. You know what I mean? But he made it out. He got out. And now yeah. he helping others. Yeah. You know, he definitely helping others. He got a book. He and, and he going crazy. He yeah. telling. He giving the information. Yeah. You know what I mean? I always say, what's the point of having knowledge if you ain't going to use it? Yeah. yeah. And it, it ain't and it ain't always, like, some people be telling yeah. me, like, you can't give everyone the game because X, Y, and Z. Right. And honestly, like... The game is out there to get. The, yeah, it's out there to get. And even if I give it to you, it's up to you to do anything. Like, I can right. tell you how I mix. Exactly. But, like, you got... It's up to you to be able to do it. Like, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, and, like, we as people, especially, like, black people, and especially, like, people... A minority, and, uh, yes. like within music and everything like that, bro. Yeah. We have to, we have to let go of our scarcity mindset. Yeah, definitely. You know, like where it's definitely. like we gotta hold on to information and resources because we don't want someone else getting. It. Once you take that, once you start doing like some research and like learning what's actually happening in life, you'll actually realize that there's a lot. It's a, bu- it's an abundance of yeah. things out there, especially like money and stuff like that. You know, oh, so yeah. it ain't no reason for no one to be even. Holding withholding information. I don't care if you know everything. I know you still got to exactly. be able to get up earlier than me. Right. You still got to. You, <laughs> you know. You got to do the things I do. You got to be able. And, yeah, and do it as good as me. You know, or better. You know. So, and I do things really well. Exactly. So, <laughs> right. No. You yeah, know. So I great. do a lot of things really well. <laughs> so. Man. Yeah. Uh, man, that was that was good for real. Cause yeah. I feel like people need to hear that. Cause man, it's so many. We we come from. From having nothing to us being in school, yeah. and they don't teach us nothing in school about like this, yeah. you know what I mean? Like life yeah. and money and, you know what I mean? Like everything, yeah. like, you know what I mean? We are not set up for success in the proper way. Yeah. So it gets passed down generation to generation. Yeah. And then when the right generation does get it, you know what I mean? Because the right generation is us. Yeah. We are that generation, yeah. the 90s babies, you know what I mean? Yeah. That had a... That, that information and we trying to pass it on. Yeah. Cause we don't want to see nobody get behind no more. Yeah. And that's my biggest thing. Right. I don't want no one around me to get behind. I you know, I talk to everyone. You you can ask anyone. I'll be talking about investing and all that other stuff, you know. Right. Um right. it's it's important for everyone to know uh mm-hmm. how to like be able to make money without and we all be talking about passive income and things of that nature and real estate right. and so on and so forth. But one I say this um real estate is a great market to be in, but it logistics it's not a lot of people in supply chain. Logistics, okay. the, my line of work yeah. that I do, do is lucrative for sure. Yeah. Um, crypto, like I said, if you want to make money not doing anything, you know, holding money while it makes you right. 4% on the year, right. you know. Have you, have you gotten to the NFTs? Uh, I've been researching like the NFTs right now. It's kind of like popping. It's in a bubble. Yeah, and I'm is. trying to see. It is in a bubble. It's Boy. bubbling. So I don't want to like jump in too quick. But, and then it but, like reverse. But I would, but I would yeah. jump in though. I would, I would jump in, bro, yeah. cause it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I got some people talking. You know what I mean? They, it's, yeah. it's gonna go up. Well, it's relatively a new thing for me, so um, or for everyone. So I want to make sure that it actually perform, like, goes the way it's supposed yeah. to. And I don't want to, uh, you know, I would just encourage anyone to do their due diligence right. before you choose to jump on anyone's, you know. Just because it's working for someone else don't mean it's gonna work for you, mm-hmm. you know. So you got to be able to make sure you can do the proper research and right. you know move forward from there. Right. That's 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 a lot of people's problems. They don't they don't like to do research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you literally can get on YouTube and just talk, what is cryptocurrency? Not what is Bitco- uh, Bitcoin? What is yeah. non uh, fungible uh, tokens? You know. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's it's it like yeah, we didn't get t- yeah. taught it, but right. but we can learn it. You in the age of the internet, you literally can yeah. like Skillshare free platform. You do the twenty dollars a month; they'll give you access to anything, anything yeah. that you want to learn about. You can learn it there. Skillshare, yeah. YouTube, you know all yeah. that. So, yeah, if you like the, with the cryptos and stuff, like um, 
Coinbase and then mm -hmm. KuCoins and all that other stuff. Like if you right. go in there, they'll give you how to's, tutorials, what things right. are. So decrypt right. uh, the app. They'll tell you about NFTs, all type of stuff. You'll sign That's up. Sick. They'll give you free money and all that. Shit. Oh yeah, for real. So oh, yeah, it's crazy shit. It is <laughs> the world we live in. Yeah, it, yeah, twenty two. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh. So yeah, man, I definitely appreciate you coming on, man. Uh, can you let them know like where you at? You know what I mean, like where you at on your Instagram, your Snapchat, Facebook. You know what I mean, whatever you. Whatever yeah, you yeah, got. yeah. You can uh, follow my uh, the company's page, Sonic Sound, on Instagram. Uh, the Real S and Q on uh, Instagram um, is my personal page. Um, you on Facebook, you know. It's, the one on face uh, at Facebook on Facebook or whatever the hell you know. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm because you barely be on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I go. I put you know. I post and go. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. I'm only gonna add you if I kind of know you. But before right. we get out of here, yeah. I have to say this. I have to address the music community. Oh boy. Listen, the music community, mm -hmm. entrepreneur community, all of you communities, right? <laughs> and I say this because I care. Do you really care? I care. I, I, because what we have to understand is we are trying to develop an ecosystem. Okay, okay. And the ecosystem can't work if everyone is not doing their part. Okay. And how do we do their part? Uh, how do we do our part? Is one by pro providing the best possible content that you could possibly provide. Right. So when you go on these platforms, these this they look presentable. Yeah, you know, yeah, look presentable. Yeah. If you go, don't get, look like me. Yeah. I got on a white tee. No, look presentable. Get your cover arts made. Stop doing it on whatever these you know other little. Get them made. Get them made. Chandre or whoever they can. Mark Brass or whoever that. Get them made. Get the music. Shots, Mark Brass. You know. Get the music mixed. Buy the beats. Get your BMIs. Get your distribution. Stop half-assing things. I don't mm. know if I was supposed to say stuff like say, mm. it, but stop half-assing mm. stuff. Okay. You know. Stop talking about who's hating and who's not supporting. Just do it. Hmm. You know, just do it and put money into your stuff. You cannot play. You cannot. This is a pay to play industry. Like you going to sue me. You know, it, 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 literally do the things that I'm telling. It is a pay to play industry. If you don't got no paper to put up, then you can't get anything done. No, I'm sorry to you say. Ain't, you ain't lying. You ain't lying. Yeah. For real. I try to tell artists all the time. Yeah. Like, it's a pay to play. Yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't get this far in my career by not paying. Yeah. I probably like, spent close to $10,000 on music equipment and music oh, yeah. stuff. Like, you, oh, yeah. Alone. Yeah. Alone. Alone. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No one cares about yeah. the things that you guys go through. Just do it, you know? Yeah. And then the supporting yeah. thing, you know, like, it's just. It's going to come. It's going to come. It's going to come. Yes, it's a popularity contest because pop music is popular music. <laughs> but, but it takes time. You know it takes I mean? time. So just stay on your grind. Yeah. Just just stay grind. It'll come. It'll come. Stop yeah. being soft. Damn, who said they were soft? Now, I'm not saying they <laughs> just stop being soft. You know, I mean, you guys aren't soft, but stop acting like it. You know? Right, right. But that's all. Well, okay. Mm. Cool. Well, yeah. It's a pleasure to have you on the show, man. Man, always, man. I'm here with it. I'm here with it. I'm surprised you came on for it. Yeah, hey, man. It's cold out here. <laughs> hey, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold to the mother. <laughs> out there it for is, real. It is cold. Man.